my sweet husband. We thought we had eternity ahead of us. The 10 years we had together will have to suffice, but the everlasting love I have for you and for us is evermore. I know you have already met our baby and you will forever be their angel. You will live on in baby Ryan and they will know every last detail about how special you were to so many people and most importantly to me. The regimental funerals for Constables Travis Jordan and Brett Ryan saw thousands of police officers, firefighters, paramedics, military members, and the Constables family and friends gather at Rogers Place to say their final farewells. The Constables' caskets pass by their families for viewing before being escorted into Rogers Place, where the invitation-only ceremony began with traditions reserved specifically for police officers who are killed in the line of duty. Both Constables Jordan and Ryan were posthumously awarded five medals, including the prestigious Police Exemplary Service Medal. Edmonton Police Association President Curtis Hoople remembering the fallen officers, encouraging EPS members in attendance, and ending with a word to the families. To the Jordan and Ryan families, this police family is here for you and is committed <laughs> to never forgetting. Travis Jordan was eulogized by his friend, his colleagues, and EPS chaplain Roy Langer on behalf of Jordan's wife, Annie. On our wedding day, I vowed to stand beside you when you honor the fallen and be, and be understanding when duty comes to calling. So today, I am honoring you as I did that day and will continue as long as I live until we are together again. Travis was described as an avid athlete who especially loved the game of golf. He and his wife Annie moved to Edmonton where he spent eight years working for the Edmonton Police Service where he became known as the Snow Angel after cleaning off a woman's vehicle and giving her a snow brush instead of a ticket. He was the epitome of integrity. Travis was dubbed the Snow Angel of Edmonton and this is who Travis always was, even when no one was looking, even when no one was taking pictures or writing articles, he did it because that's who he was. Three nights ago, Annie saw the Northern Lights for the first time. Her and TJ had talked about watching the Northern Lights, but it was something that they have never done together. They were the brightest they've been in six years. Annie, Travis will always be your northern light. Brett Ryan was described as an avid outdoorsman who had a zest for adventure and a passion for helping others. His wife, Ashley, is expecting their first child and shared some of her fondest memories of her husband. I will remember how thrilled he was when EPS allowed the growth of facial hair. Brett was so pumped to try to grow out his beard, and boy, just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> I will always remember how excited he was when Brett found out he was going to be a dad, and I know that is one memory I will never lose. I often called Brett my big little brother, because that's how much I looked up to him. I love my little brother so much, his accomplishments and the man he became. I wish I only had five more minutes to spend with him. Tell him one more time how much I love him. He's our hero. A minute of silence for the constables before flags are presented to their families and caskets carried out of the building. A 21-gun salute represents that the officer's duties are concluded. In Edmonton, Bianca Millions, City News.